What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Hack and Slash Cacus and today we have part one for how to acquire the brand new class specific exotic glaives just introduced into Destiny 2 with the Witch Queen expansion. Now normally I wouldn't be doing this, I would just put everything in one video. However, in this case, although you can't quite yet get the exotic Glaive Exotic Quest, you really want to watch this video. And that's because there is, no word of a lie, multiple days worth of setup and preparation that you have to do in order to pick up this exotic quest when it does go live. So instead of making a video and you guys realizing, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to get this exotic in three days from now, I'm making this now so you can go and prepare so when this quest does drop, you can grab it right away and get those shiny new exotics as fast as possible. So, First things first, you're going to need access to the evidence board. Now you're going to get this through the hard evidence mission that is going to pop up short after or while you're doing the Witch Queen campaign. Like it's just something you can pick up while you're doing it. Most of you have probably already done this. So you're going to simply stop and ambush on the throne world. Once you do that, you head to the enclave and interact with this evidence board. Now, what you're going to see is that exotic quest. It's sitting right here. It's so close. You just want to click on it. However, it is locked and it says requires completion of all evidence board reports. Then you're going to see certain quests to the right that you can pick up. More are grayed out, and then even more are not only grayed out, but they also have a question mark on them. So what you're going to need to do is complete in order all of these different available quests. Grab the one immediately to the right. Once you get that one done, you can grab the next one. Once you get that one done, sometimes you can grab two at a time. And once you get those done, you can keep moving further and further right. At this point in time, this is what your evidence board is actually going to look like. You have the exotic quest, and there's one last thing you can't quite get, and that requires an activity that hasn't been unlocked yet. There's a lot of speculation that this is the raid, or perhaps a different new activity, but regardless, once that comes out, you do that one, and boom, the exotic quest is starting. However, when it comes to these evidence board quests, most of them are pretty simplistic. A lot of them involved simply going to the throne world and doing random stuff, doing an altar activity, you know, going to a certain location, killing a certain boss. Again, a lot of them are just taking place on that throne world. And it should be noted that some of them do require the completion of other quests. For example, this one here requires the completion of Trust Goes Both Ways. As you can see, it's here in my inventory. I have to go and loot different region chests again within the throne world. Now, as you're completing these evidence board missions and other missions like Trust Goes Both Ways, you are very importantly gonna be getting throne world weapons. So in this case, I get the likely suspect fusion rifle. And this is very important because what it does is it adds these weapons to the loot pool. So I wouldn't get this fusion rifle no matter how many chests I opened until I beat this quest, got it one time, and now once I've gotten it, I've unlocked the possibility to get it now in future throne world chests and engrams and so on. Now that is going to end up being very important because this evidence board progression is going to grind to a screeching halt with this particular report, relic data. As you can see, you need to shape, so craft three different weapons. The empirical evidence, now this is gonna be the throne world sidearm, the likely suspect, which is a throne world fusion rifle we saw earlier, and the red herring, which is a throne world rocket launcher. So what that means, guys, is that you don't just need to go and get these weapons, you need to get lucky and get the deep sight resonance version of these weapons to unlock the patterns for all three of these weapons. If you're confused about anything I just said there and want to know more about the crafting system, yesterday I released my full crafting system guide. It will answer any questions you may have. Go and click it. It's linked up above. But once you shape, you craft all three of these different weapons, your quest step is going to update and then you're gonna have to shape two more throne world weapons. But there's a huge catch. 
whereas the first three were awarded, like I said, just by doing random quests and evidence board missions and so on, and then you can farm them by simply opening, you know, public event chests, deep site tier three chests is gonna be a great way to farm them, all of that stuff. The next two weapons for the next part are where things get difficult. As you can see, you now need to craft a come to pass, which is the throne world auto rifle and the tarnation, which is the throne world grenade launcher. The problem is that you probably don't have either of these weapons. They are not unlocked directly through quests like the other ones. These are wellspring exclusive weapons. So, if you go to Wellspring, as you can see, there's a different weapon available every single day. So right now, the time I'm recording, it's the sniper rifle. The next day, it should be the auto rifle, which is good news. And then the next day, it should be the tarnation, which is good news. And then it goes to uh, the bow, I believe, and continues from there. But that means you're gonna have to go into the Wellspring activity and simply farm it. And not just farm it until you get these weapons and not just farm it until you get the deep sight resonance of one of these weapons, but both of those two weapons, the auto rifle and the grenade launcher, to unlock their patterns, you need to complete two deep sight resonances. So that means you're gonna have to get extremely lucky and again, farm your butt off in Wellspring during the specific day that they're available. Now there is going to be a harder version of Wellspring 1580 and that should presumably have better drop rates of uh, the weapons and stuff are listed as common drop rates instead of uncommon in the menu and you're going to unlock access to the master difficulty wellsprings when you reach level 18 i believe within your throne world rank and of course i've done a video for how to increase your throne world rank as fast as possible so you can do that However, I've been farming the crap out of the 1580 Wellspring, and it's no joke, you need a pretty decent team, and some of us have gone as long as six to eight hours and still not gotten the required amount of deep sight versions of these weapons to unlock them. Like it is an insane grind to get these weapons, which is why I'm telling you in advance. However, the grind actually doesn't stop there. A lot of people think that you need to go and get the other weapons, like the bow, the sniper, etc., that are going to be the only Throne World weapons we haven't listed so far. Those are even worse. You have to get three red Deep Sight versions to unlock the patterns for those. However, according to the database, the next step is actually just to craft one of these weapons with enhanced perks. So perhaps instead of farming those other throne world weapons like the bow, instead spend your time grinding materials because each enhanced perk requires 2000 neutral element and more elements on top of that, you will also need ascendant alloy, right? Which is the exotic rarity gold crafting material. Luckily, you can actually also get ascendant alloys from farming the 1580 Wellspring. So if you are doing those to get the weapons, I mean, if you thought the weapons were hard to get, the alloys have an even worse drop rate, but hopefully you'll get a couple while you're doing the weapon farming. Now, when it comes to getting crafting material, really the best way is to be completing those deep sight resonance red weapons as fast as possible. Simply go to a high enemy density area like Shirochi within the last wish, or just start the grasp of avarice dungeon the very beginning uh, before you open up that crystal and drop down and farm as many enemies as you can. Simply complete as many of those deep sights as you can. And then again, according to the database, once you do craft this weapon with enhanced perks, that is pretty much it. You're going to simply hand in this quest to the evidence board. And then the very last one is that activity we don't have access to just yet. And then once you complete that one, again, the exotic glaive will become available through its exotic quest. And so guys, there you have it. I hope you're ready to farm your butt off. Hope you enjoyed this video and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.